time for another Bell's Book Blurb. Hello students, as you know each week I've been sharing some thoughts from a, from a book called If You Want to Change the World, Start by Making Your Bed. Um, this week's chapter I really like, it's, I, I think I say that every week because I like all these chapters, but, but one of the, this chapter talks about what's called a circus in SEAL training. Uh, last week I showed some pictures of what SEAL training looks like, um, and so you could see that they do a lot of physical exercises. Um, and those exercises are referred to as calisthenics, like jumping jacks, pull-ups, sit-ups, pu uh, push-ups, that kind of stuff, and doing, and plus long miles of swimming in the ocean and just a lot of physical exercise. Well, um, the uh, author of this book, he talks about how during that training, if you finished last in a group, you had to go to what's called the circus. And the circus was two additional hours of physical exercise. Now remember that's after the uh, exercise that everyone had to do, which was exhausting to begin with. But, if, but as a consequence, if they were last, they had to go to this additional a workout that was two hours long of doing additional calisthenics. So um, one of the worries about going to the circus would be that in addition to being already exhausted from the regular exercises, having two additional exercises that not everyone else had to do, the worry is that you'd be so tired the next day that you'd fall even further behind and further behind and eventually wash out or get um, kicked out of the program. But what he found when he had to go to the circus for, for a week, he and his uh, swim partner, they uh, did these extra exercises and at the end of those extra exercises, the next time they did the two-mile swim, they finished first. And what he found is they actually had become stronger from that experience. They'd become stronger swimmers, in better shape, and um, had been successful by working through that challenge. His, his uh, paragraph that he talks about in the, in the book says, In life you will face a lot of circuses. You will pay for your failures, but if you persevere... If you let those failures teach you and strengthen you, then you will be prepared to handle life's toughest moments. And I like that, that you know, when we talk about a growth mindset, that when we make mistakes or when we fail at something, we try again. And our motto here is try, fail, try again. And if we allow our mistakes to teach us, if we allow when we have errors happen, that we learn from them, we become stronger and better and better. Have a great week.